Today I'm taking out the V4 AC voltage regulator. So we got our manual and it comes with a bunch of extra fuses. So this is a heavy little Variac. So you can call these things a lot of different things. They got a voltage regulator. You can call it a variable AC transformer, a variable AC power supply. Most commonly people call these things Variacs, but what they're gonna do is kind of like an adjustable DC power supply, except for this one is going to input AC and it's also going to output AC. So even though you might be able to get 12 volts out of this thing, you're not gonna wanna try to hook that up to your car. This only outputs AC power. Now I've played with Variacs before. The thing that makes this one stand out to me is that it has this display right here. Most Variacs do not have that. The only way to really check to make that you're getting the right output voltage and you got to take a multimeter and you got to test it now these numbers on the top should tell you what the voltage out is going to be but very rarely is that actually perfect most of the time it's going to be off a little bit on top of that this is just going to decrease by a percentage of the voltage you put in so that means if you don't have exactly 120 volts going in even if you spin it up to 120 you won't necessarily have 120 volts going out so if you need a precise measurement which with variax usually you don't what i usually do is i'll take a variac and then i will add a meter right onto it with this one i don't have to do that it's already got a built in so on the bottom we do have rubber feet we also have overload protection so in the event that we're trying to pull too many amps it will trip always an important thing to have we got our power switch we got our fuse very easily accessible here on the front so even if we got this thing just at a workstation we're going to be able to get to that very easily without having to flip it around and then we got our outputs here on the bottom okay so right now it is showing 121 volts so let's test that okay we're getting 120.5 so that is pretty close it basically just rounded up go ahead and reduce this so right now it says we are outputting 90 volts and we were at 91.4. So within a margin of error of about one and a half. Yeah, 45. 48, okay. So as we go down, it varies a little bit more, but even still within three volts, it's not bad. That's interesting. So the top actually shows that it's reading right around 47. So the numbers on the top are even more accurate than the numbers on the display. So I'm gonna set it to 25 on the top. That's showing 21 and we got 25.6. So based on this, I would only really use the display as a backup to let me know that we got voltage coming out and that is approximately where we need to be. But I'm gonna know that's at least within about five volts of the number that's on the top. Surprisingly, the number that's on the top is actually pretty darn accurate. Most of the time, these things are not set that well. So they do make a couple different models. This one is the 2000 volt amp. In my opinion, might as well upgrade to it if you're gonna be getting a Variac at all, just because you never know when you're gonna be needing those extra amps. So overall, that is a very cool Variac.